Today we come to the fourth of those heroes that we can look to to show us how to live and follow Jesus. And this man is especially precious to me. His name is John. As you look at this figure, you recognize he's an older man. His face is wrinkled. His body is stooped. He reveals years of living for Christ. We recognize that John, among all of the apostles, is the only one who lived to die as an old man. And throughout those years, he knew what it meant to have your life changed by Jesus. When he was young, one of the youngest of the disciples, he was known as one of the sons of thunder. He was passionate for Christ, eager and ambitious. He wanted to do whatever it took to shank up the world for the sake of Jesus. Because of that, sometimes he grew angry with people. He lost patience with people. And God had to do a lot of work in his life. In his gospel, he has a way of describing himself that shows how he was transformed. He calls himself the disciple Jesus loved. And the love of Christ smoothed John's rough edges. It softened his heart and gave him compassion for people. By the end of his life, when he was writing his epistles, John began to write to other believers and he would call them, my little children. John is an example of what Jesus can do in a life that is surrendered to him. I think today our prayer needs to be, Lord, soften my heart and change my personality that I might become everything you can make out of me. Help me today to experience your love. So let's pray and let's ask God to do that in our lives. Father, more than anything today, I pray, help us to have a fresh experience of the personal presence of Jesus. Lord, help us to know your love and your compassion in a fresh new way. And Father, I pray, use your love to soften my edges, to give my heart patience, to help me, Lord, to be deliberate about the way I reveal your love through the words I say and the things I do. Lord, we pray that, like John, we might develop the patience to live for you for a lifetime. Help us, Lord, to be persistent in our faith today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.